Hello everyone, my name is Kathy Martin and I'm the creator of PreAlgebraTeachers.com. I help teachers work smarter and not harder so we can spend more time with those we love and less time lesson planning. Today, I wanted to pop in and show you how I teach distributive property. If you would like to download a free note taker assignment, click the link above to download, um, or click the link above to get your freebie. So let's get on with how I teach distributed property. I'm gonna go ahead and flip my camera so you can see my board and we can do a couple of examples. Here we go. Okay, so I show distributed property by using the term rainbow. This is actually a really cute poster that a student had created for me in the past and because we did a whole gallery walk and it was a whole thing. So I had a student create this distributed property poster. And as you can see, this student wrote distributed property rainbow. And rainbow is a, use, is a term I use to help my students remember the word multiply. Of course, when you teach this, you want to teach your students the correct terminology. So you have to remember to teach your students that we multiply the outside number with each term inside the parentheses. However, an easy way to remember distributive property is rainbow. And I use it interchangeably. I use the term rainbow and distribute and multiply interchangeably so that my students remember they all mean the same thing. So what the heck do I mean by rainbow? So I have three examples up here. Now, I tell my students that when we, when we distribute, we rainbow the outside number with the first term like this. So we have three times X, which is three X. And then I have them circle the second term, including the positive, negative, addition, subtraction sign. And then we rainbow the outside term with whatever the secondary number is. In this case, plus five, positive five. So three times positive five is going to be positive 15. And I have them circle the secondary term so that as we move on in distributed property, as the numbers get a little bit trickier, they know that this symbol and this number go together. So if you look at example two, we have a four and I'm going to rainbow or distribute or multiply to the first term. So four times X, which is gonna give me four X. Now I have four times negative six. So I'm going to rainbow, distribute, multiply four times negative six, and four times negative six is gonna be negative 24. So there's my answer. When you have situations like this with a negative number on the outside and you have a negative number inside, this is where the circling makes a big difference. So here I have a negative two on the outside, so I'm going to rainbow that to my x, so negative two times x is negative two x. And here I have a negative two distributing to a negative seven. So a negative times a negative is going to be a positive. So here I'm gonna have a plus 14. So I have found that circling, using a term like rainbow to help trigger students' memory of the fact that it means multiply has really helped my students experience success with distributed property. Again, if you wanna download your own student note taker, it's really, really fun. It involves food, so who doesn't love food? Head on over to the link above. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you next time. Bye.